team of researchers led by a Cambridge University geneticist is claiming that the COVID-19 outbreak did not start in the Chinese city of Wuhan, as is widely believed. The scientists analysed the RNA of the novel coronavirus and traced its mutations. They found three distinct variants of COVID-19, the final one being its final human efficient form. We spoke with the geneticist behind the research. We have identified three uh, major variants of the coronavirus and the original type, according to a comparison with the bat coronavirus, uh, is the A type that is found in China at moderate frequencies, uh, but surprisingly not at high frequency in Wuhan where B is the major type. And then you have a C type which then occurs outside China mainly. So the A type is more common at the early stage of the outbreak in other parts of China, but not, not in Wuhan, which was a bit of a surprise to us. Well, since the virus appeared, various conspiracy theories have been promoted online and in the media. A popular version is that the coronavirus was produced in a lab at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Donald Trump himself recently said the idea, quote, makes sense. After months of accusations, the lab has broken its silence and responded to the claims. As people who carry out viral studies, we clearly know what kind of research is going on in the Institute and how the Institute manages viruses and samples. There is no way this virus came from us. I think the picture up to now has been that the fish market in Wuhan or the wildlife market in Wuhan was the uh, source of the pandemic and this is based on the observation of the first uh, uh, 42 patients, I think, uh, nearly half had had contact with this fish market, but uh, apparently not the earliest patient. I think our results could be taken to imply that we might have to look further than Wuhan for um, the source of the outbreak. So further outside in China, um, that, that would be where I would look for the start of the spread.